You ever seen a mentally challenged gorilla play chess? Well, you're about to. After watching The Queen's Gambit on Netflix, I realized that chess didn't seem like that boring of a game. Plus, the actor was really, really hot. No, not that one. The other one. So I decided to make an account on LeeChess.com. I really, really like gorillas. Now, before I get into my first game, I have to tell you, I'm a virgin. I have never played chess in my life. I did, however, do the tutorial on the website, and I was feeling pretty confident with the knowledge I had acquired. So I get into my first game, and right away I realize we already have a fucking serious problem. This man's name is Constantine, but he spells it without an E. I was fucking angry, but I soon calmed down because I realized he had 2005 in his name, which could only mean one thing. This kid was around 16, and I didn't learn how to spell my name until I was 24, so fuck it. I'm white, so I take the first move. I open up with E4, looking to get my grubby hands on the center of the board. Constantine decides we should have a pissing contest in the middle of the battlefield, so he moves his pawn right in front of mine. I didn't like my little homie out there having no protection from any possible threats, so I made this sad excuse of a horse to back him up on C3. Then Constantine decides he wants to play monkey see monkey do and he sends out his deformed donkey to c6. We're only two moves in and I already want to use this kid's favorite puppy as a pinata in front of him, but I decide to internalize the anger and put it towards my next move, f3. Constantine sees that I'm backing up my homie in the center and decides he wants to turn this game of chess into a petting zoo. We now have three retarded horses on the battlefield, and me having a natural fear and hatred for those demon spawns since I was five, decided I was going to beat the shit out of one of them. So I put my bishop on b5. Constantine decides it's time for him to move his bishop as well and aims the fucker right at my horse. Now looking back at this, I did not have to move my knight because if he was actually stupid enough to take it, I could have immediately taken it back with my rook. But I've already established that I'm a mentally challenged gorilla. So I ended up moving my horse, who I named Greg, to E2. Constantine responds hastily with A6, trying to kick away my bishop. Little does Constantine know, my bishop has been going through a divorce for the past three weeks, and he has nothing else to lose. So he beats the fuck out of the horse, ultimately sacrificing himself to the queen's pawn. What follows next is a genius display of me breaking my opponent's pawn structure. d3, h6, knight a3, trying to bully his bishop, bishop a7 because he got bullied, c3, b5, d4. Now you might be yelling at your screen like the little shit-faced goblin that you are. You blundered your knight! Fuck you, it wasn't a blunder. I fucking hated that horse. I wanted it to die. I also wanted to break Black's pawn structure. He takes on d4, and I smack him right back. He beats the shit out of my horse, and opens up a beautiful gap in his defense. I push with d5, and he takes the bait. I'm a fucking genius. I get it back in blood and take back right away. And the fucker does something I should have seen coming. Um, he fucking castles on the side that I didn't break open. After sitting there feeling stupid for a minute, I decide to mobilize my baddest bitch, the queen, and completely decimate the poor fuck on a4. He responds swiftly with rook e8, which I assume was to pin my remaining horse to my king. Jokes on him, I already immobilized that horse when I took a bat to its legs last week. Say it with me, fuck horses. I decided the only way I was going to win this game is by putting him on defense constantly. So I send my girl to c6 to eyeball his rook tucked away in the corner. He protects it while simultaneously attacking my girl with bishop to d7. Clever boy, but I'm a genius and see that that a6 pawn is no longer guarded, so I snatch it. Now I have a question that only requires one brain cell to answer correctly. Where did this mentally challenged gorilla go wrong? I'll give you five seconds and that's very generous 
because you should already see the massive shit streak this kid is about to leave as he slides his ass all the way across the board. Bishop to f2 check. I'm forced to take with my king. And then he takes my queen. I just lost my girl to a 16 year old kid. I played off in chat. Oh no, ha ha ha. The kid says sorry. Act nice and tell him it's okay, I need to learn the hard way. But my wife learned the hard way that day. I was so angry I made her walk home from work. She works in the next city over. Didn't get home till midnight. We're still fighting a week later and I think she wants to leave me now. This kid took my girl in chess and in real life, but it was the most fun I had in a while. This game goes a little further, but it's just my king hitting the doggy on the battlefield as the kid checks me move after move. My first ever chess game was an L, but it was an enjoyable L. Thank you for watching, please subscribe if you want to see my journey on becoming the best Pokemon trainer ever. Until next time.